Hey guys, today we're crafting. I'm sure we'll be using glitter. Maybe we'll do some painting. Do these colors suit me? Hmm. Should we do some pop art? I don't know what we're gonna craft today, but let's get started. So I just love these beads. Can we make them? Okay, so I strung some beads from the Dollar Tree. I always leave the one side on in case I need more. To finish it off, just put the both ends after you tie uh, after you cut it. Okay, now we have some beads. We got the beads from the dollar store, and we got the string from the dollar store. And I got these guys. I'm going to put one of them on the bottom. I did want a little tassel, so you just literally unravel the string. I tied a few pieces, and we're just unraveling it. All right, guys. Then I just hung this with this uh, raffity is what you call it. And that's it. I put it on my door. So cute, guys. And we made a few different ones. I made this one. I put white rope and... Uh... So it has a little white tassel and a ribbon. And then I made this guy. It's just a long one. And it has a ribbon with the key. This one is just a bell. I didn't put the beads, but I like the hangings. Today, guys, was my first attempt at some kind of macrame. You guys <laughs> let me know what you think. But I kind of really like this design. And I want to add like necklaces and different kinds of materials. You want to see? All right. So I started this one. I put a chain which has like this guy on it. <laughs> and I put some of this and I started. I want to just show you. So basically you put the two, the bead through the two middle ones. And then let me show you how to do this little stitch. So basically you just take the two middle, this goes across, this goes over, and then under into this loop. So it kind of looks like an upside down heart. So basically you just put the bead in between what would be the two middle pieces. Okay, and once you got that up there and you kind of fiddle with it just a little to make sure your beads in the center and then you quickly do another one of those upside down heart loops kind of hold that right in place and then you've got it and you just keep doing that and that's how i've been doing it okay guys so this is what it looks like all finished i really just did more with that like we did it but i this one i did with just three and i kind of left it and tied it i put some just regular ones which i didn't even touch um and then i put this and it's literally so cute i wrapped that around the top I have these little blocks that have letters, so I put love, and I put the bow. So I don't know if you could call it macrame, guys, but you can call it adorable, because I love it. So it looks very, like, I don't know, jungly. And then I just made another one of those really super simple. It's, um... It has some big balls. It has this necklace. It has a little feather charm. This one was real simple. I just really put some knots in them. And that's it, really. So, they're more like wall hangings than macrame. I don't know. And then this is that one that 
we started that was my first piece and I just added ribbons and that's it <laughs> you know I made it big and then this is gonna be our next project that I show you that is uh, my dream catcher I guess <laughs> I want to try to make a dream catcher so I got this piece from Timu and this pretty colorful yarn, ombre yarn from Timu. And let's see what we could do. We cut some long pieces. I've never done anything with a shape before, so hopefully this will come out. Basically, I'm just crisscrossing them. And then we're just putting a bead on it. And the top ones I'm going to tie off. The bottom ones I'm not because I have to go all the way down with it. Once we got all the top pieces done, now we're going to try to weave our way down the bottom. So I did it the best that I could, leaving the strings. I pulled the four down like that so we have more. And then I'm going to do some um, macrame down the sides with these. And it should be real pretty. I want to make a macrame feather. So you could start off with a ring, keychain, anything. You need to start with two long strings, at least 20 to 22 8 inch strings. So you make them into loops, and the first loop is going to go underneath your strings. Your next one, you're going to lie on top. And basically, this is going to go out, and the other two are going to go in the loop underneath. So it looks like that, and then you're just going to pull them tight from either side. Okay, I put 30. We're going to comb it. So here it is brushed. Now we're going to just trim along the edges to make it smooth. Well, I'm sure I cut it horribly, however, it is a feather. I'd like to try different colors too, but that's how you do it. It's so fun, guys. You really have to try the feathers. This one I got from Timu, but I like braided it because they just had random strings all over. They're super cute. I love them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure.